Welcome back, everybody. It's me, Ford Aureli, here with you today. And in today's episode, we are here in our house, nice and safe and sound. And I bet you, you are going to guess that we're going to do something safe today because we did something scary last time. But believe it or not, we're going to do something kind of scary again today. Um, but hopefully safe. <laughs> That's the plan. What I was thinking for today is we should take a look at the prospecting pick. Um, we should take a look at the prospecting pick. I think that is our next kind of goal here in this series because we need some better ores to be able to get better armor and better tools and all the kind of stuff. So it kind of starts with the prospecting pick and I think we're going to try and do our best to take a look at it. I don't have one of these made up for it yet so we're going to start with making a mold for it. So we have to swing by our storage unit. I'm going to grab some clay here and we'll work up a mold to make it. So let's see, is it safe in here? Yes, it is. I don't think I've ever found anything in here yet um, since, since the fences went in. So that's good. Okay, we're going to grab a bit of clay here and maybe should I drop off some stuff? Yeah, let's drop off the, I don't think I have a chest for this. Granite I have a chest for. I don't think I have a chest for that per peridotite or whatever it's called. Let's put the granite in here. We can at least, uh, you know what? We're going to stick this in here for now too because I don't really have a place for it. We're going to put the flax fibers away. I think they go in uh, this one. Nope. This one. Nope. I still haven't labeled up everything. I still have a few things to label. It goes in that one. And oh, what's this? And then we've got some slate. Let's put away the slate as well. And this one here, oh, that's very full. Do I have, oh, was that slate there? Oh, that's slate there. Okay, good. There we go. Slate can go away. There we go. All right. Let's head back over to the house and we will make the mold and uh, start. I think we're just going to make it out of, out of copper because I don't think I want to use my really good ingots for a pro pick. So that is the plan here. We're going to just hunker down here and make that. Well, are we planning a non-secretive mission today? Yes, we're going to focus on the pro pick today. The what pick? Pro pick. Well, it's also known as the prospecting pick. What kind of pick is that? It's for finding ores. So, a pickaxe. No, a pro pick locates the ores and a pickaxe uh, mines the ores. Oh, so a junk worker pick to use up then the good pickaxe to collect the goodies. No, it locates ores. We just break three blocks a certain distance from each other, like they have to be no closer than three together and no further than 12, I believe. Um, and then the pick will tell us what kind of ores are around us. So witchcraft? Are you a witch? What? No! But that sounds like magic. Not magic, just really confusing and complicated game science. Oh, okay, well then, so what's so great about it? Oh, it can help us find the really rare ores that are really hard to find. Ah, oh, like exploding beds in the nether to find netherite. Well, the ores are rare like netherite, but the method is a little less... crass. Oh, so exploding beds is crass? No, well, I just mean that it's more refined. Oh, well then we'll just see if crass wins over refined today then, shall we? What? So now you're going to go into the nether to explode beds, just to find netherite, just to prove a point? Yes, I am. Okay then, have fun. Oh, I will, because exploding beds in the nether is nothing but fun. Alright you guys, let's get started. I think I just need to grab this and put it here, and we are gonna- I'm pretty sure that the- that it's just a mold like uh, everything else. I think the pro pick Raw prospecting pick mold. Yeah, that's the normal. Yeah, so that's the one we want. And I'm just going to quickly fill this in. All right. And now we just need to fire it up. So I'll pop that there. And I'm not going to use my wood because uh, I'm running kind of low on it. I'm going to use the peat. Um, I'll grab two peat. Maybe that'll be enough. And let's pop the peat in there. And then we can light it. There we go. Okay, so we're just gonna let that cook down and then we will, um, oh, I need to, oh, do I have a copper ingot? I don't think I do. Uh, let me check upstairs. You know what? Um, I have a bunch of copper on me, so we'll just break it. I need my hammer. Can I grab it on the first try? I did. It. Uh -huh. Okay, let's break down some of the copper here. I'll do this one, I guess. Let's put it correct. There we go. Okay. And that'll be, yeah, that's just good. We just need 20. Ah, oh, there we go. 
Okay, let's cook up that as well. All right, that one's done. So let's pop that on the ground and wait for this. All right, this is done. And let's pour it out. All right, so you have to let that set and then we'll make the pick and then we'll go. So I think that's actually good timing because we can sleep off the night. In the meantime, I'm just finishing replacing my torches around here because I can't remember when I last did it. And actually I should make some more torches. Uh, might have to make some more. I feel like the torches that we left in the cave system last episode will still be there because I think I, I didn't really spend any time in this world since then. So I don't think they'll have burnt out. So that's good because we're going to just head down that same uh, same cave because it seems like it'll be the safest option since it's already lit up. And I don't have any sticks on me to make more torches. So yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. So anyways, I'm going to let this get cool and then we're going to sleep off the night. What time is this? Probably really early still. Yeah, it's just after six. Uh, but it's February 4th. We're getting to spring. So we're going to sleep off the night and then we will, um, head over to the um, to the cave. There we go. And start working away at trying to find some awesome, really cool, really rare ores. Oh, I'm going to need sticks for that. I think I have some in my, I think I have some in my storage unit, so that's fine. We'll, we'll head there in the morning on our way to the cave. I always, always, always freeze when I sleep the night. It's very annoying. I have to come over to a fireplace and put a piece of wood on and, and yeah, warm up. I don't know why my bedroom upstairs is just not close enough to fire or uh, to warmth. I guess it's just like too open or something. So yeah, this is my life. I have to do this first. Warm up. Ah, let's see. Temperature rising. Yes. <laughs> I was going to sit here for a minute while that ah, wolves, well, that firewood burns up and warms us up. And then our prospecting, our prospecting, did I say that right? Prospecting pick should be ready to go. And then we'll go to the storage unit. We'll empty our pockets a little bit. We'll grab that stick that we need to make um, the prospecting into the actual pick. And then we can go down into the tunnels. Yay! More adventures in the tunnels. <laughs> okay, there's that. I'm just going to put it here for a sec so I can pick up the mold. Actually, I don't think I have... I'll have to make another mold rack I don't have another one. Um, I don't have space in mine. So I'm going to stick that there. Why am I putting it there? No, we're going to stick it in here. I opened that for a reason. Okay, and then I feel like everything else just needs to go back into the storage unit. So let's go do that. Let's hope nothing is going to attack us on our way out. I don't think anything will. Let's just make a run for it. And nothing should be in our storage unit because of the safety of it. Great. Nothing in here. That thing in here. Beautiful. Okay. So I wanted to put away the ores. We'll put away all of the copper and stuff. Okay. Oh, the clay should go away as well. We have that little bit of clay left. We'll put it there. And then the ores I think are in this one. So we'll pop that in there. And I didn't break down the rest of it. So that's fine. And then we need sticks. So let's see. Sticks are going to be... Oh, yes. I do have sticks. Good. Okay. Let's make a prospecting pick. There we go. Let's take a look at it. Doo doop. Doop. Uh, this button. There we go. There we are with our... Can I get a good... Oh, I'm opening things with it. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. There we go. Uh, let's get us out of that. And then do... I just want to see if I have any other sticks just because I want to kind of know where oh I think I put it over here that's right the wood is over here okay I still have some sticks so that's good I'm gonna keep the ones on me that I took out though because I want to make some more torches eventually you know what I probably have enough to make another linen sack too out of the linen fibers that I have over here let's see um I'm not gonna make it right now but I just want to see if I feel like I've got like five bits mm, here I do. So maybe uh, maybe I'll make another linen sack later as well. So anyways, that's not our focus today. Our focus is dealing with this prospecting pick over in the cave. Okay, let's go do this. So uh, is there a guy in here? Like where am I? Nothing in there. Okay. Um, <laughs> so I did a bit of research on the prospecting pick because uh, I think you kind of have to. It's kind of confusing otherwise. And it has to do with like the distance apart from the pick to how, oh, I have a little symbol up there. Is that because I'm holding it? Oh, it is. Oh, interesting. Um, the distance the pick is from the ores, 
that you're prospecting. So I don't know if that makes any sense. Um, it kind of makes sense to me. It hurts my brain a little bit, to be honest. It's a lot of confusing science-y stuff. So uh, I think we're going to start... Um, maybe we'll start down this little guy here because there's kind of like the two tunnels and they're kind of separated from each other. And this one has nothing in it. This is like far from anything. And then that one goes down into the big scary caves. So I thought we would start in here. And I think I've already made it to the proper setting because I think I did that when I created this world. But let me just read here for a second. We need it to be at least three blocks apart and no more than 16 blocks. So that's what it is. So three blocks and then 16 blocks. So maybe if we do like here and then we'll go here and then we'll go down there. So let's just do this one here. Okay. Okay. Need two more samples. So that's one, two, three. And then we can go maybe here. And then one, two, three. We can go here. All right, uh, poor native copper, very poor that, very poor that, very poor, minuscule amounts of that. So this is not a good area to grab ores. It looks like it's pretty sparse. So now we're going to head down to the scary, scary cave. Maybe I'm going to hold my spear or my knife. Are my torches still lit? They are lovely. Okay, we're going to come down in here. Uh, why wolves? Why? Why must you exist? I don't know. Anyways, we're going to come down in here and maybe we'll go, we'll start like here. So we're going to go one and then down here two and then down here we'll go three. Oh, nuts. I did that too close. Um, I think, did I do that too close? One, two, I did. Nuts. Okay. Um, I feel like I have to go three from that one. One, two. I knew I should have counted it. Okay. We'll go to this one. Minus. Okay. There we go. So we've got very poor all the things and minuscule those things so this is not showing us a great result either so let's see oh i knew i should have grabbed something else i wanted to grab more dirt while i was down here too and i forgot it okay we're gonna try not to fall down that big pit you know what i meant to do last episode and i forgot to do it i meant to throw a torch down here and see if we can see anything uh let's see let's do that quickly let's throw a torch down there i'm gonna go like this and then we're gonna go a little closer and then we're going to go throw a torch down there. So I don't know if it goes anywhere. kind of looks like it goes quite deep, doesn't it? Uh, yeah, it goes quite deep. Anyways, we're not going to go down down there right now. Let's, let's come to... Let's come to here, I guess. And we'll do another one right here. One... So let's count it this time. One, two, three. We need it on this one where the torch is, of course. Two. And then. Right here. Three. Okay. Very poor still. We're still showing very poor amounts of all the things. That's too bad. There's a guy. Another portal. <laughs> hmm. I'm kind of curious what's up there. I feel like we need to go exploring up there. <laughs> they just like fall from up there. That's dangerous. Okay, this is what I'm going to do. Because I really, really, really want to climb up there and take a look. I think I'm going to quickly run back and we're going to grab um, some more dirt. And then we're going to just head up there and see what's up there. Because uh, they keep falling from up there. And I feel like we need to figure out why. So let's come on back up and just give me a sec to grab some dirt. Oh, 
Okay, I grabbed the dirt. We're heading back down into the cave here. And we're going to see if we can just jump up into that uh, space that they're all falling from. If I don't fall down this big hole here. I feel like we might have to go down that big hole. That's probably going to be something that we end up having to do. So let me just grab... Let me just put a few... One more torch right there just because I feel like we need that. This is ready. I left these guys here because I just don't care. Well, I do care, but I don't, you know? Okay. Please nothing fall on me. So that looks like it doesn't go any... Oh, look at this. We found a structure up here, you guys. There's something buried. Oh, that's kind of cool. Um, I'm really nervous, though. I don't see any guys, but I know they're there because I can hear them. Hmm. Okay, we're going to have to build a cross here. It is safe, Fort Aureli. You're fine. Yeah, nothing there. Is that a hole? No, that's fine. I know this is dangerous. Never dig above your head, but I want to get up one more block. There's a guy. See, I knew it. Oh. What? What is this? What is this, you guys? Look at this. Oh my goodness, we found something really cool. And this guy's coming at me. Hi. You're going to leave me alone, right? You're going to leave me alone, right? Yes, you are. Because you're a good monster. That leaves me alone. Firewood, you guys! <gasps> okay, I need to get in here. Is that guy, that guy's able to get in there. Sort of. He's stuck in the cobwebs. Interesting, interesting. I'm going to dig in a bit more here. This is so cool. Oh, there's that guy there. Aha! I saw that. You just leave me alone. Okay, there's that guy coming at me. Okay, he's walking away. That's good. Okay, that guy's gone. Okay, I think it's safe to go in here. Uh, I built this up so that nobody else should be able to join us. And then we're just going to pop one right there. How did he get in? He, like, came through a spider web. I'll just do this. There. I feel like that's safe. This is so cool. Oh, this is so cool. This is like, okay, prospecting pick, I'm sorry, but you're taking a back seat right now because we've got this really cool thing that we found. Sorry, cobwebs, you have to go. What is this? Amok tabletop. Can I take this? He's going to leave me alone, right? I think so. Okay, can I take this? Uh... <gasps> I can. Oh my goodness, I can take that. That's so cool. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, I got the cobwebs. <gasps> that is so awesome. Okay, sorry, I'm like... I've never found one of these before, and I'm, I don't have a lot of food on me, unfortunately. I didn't think uh, that was almost empty, and it was, so be very careful here. Maybe I'll just, I'll eat this piece of bread, and then that's not going to be enough, but it's enough for now. Okay, we can take the table. Oh, there's, there's stuff down there. We can take all this firewood. What is this? Bookshelves. <gasps> this is so awesome. I didn't carve this guy up. Let's get rid of this guy the table here. Let's carve into him. He has nothing. That's fine. Let's take that cobweb. Um, I kind of want to see what's over here, but that guy, oh, that guy just came in. Can I reach you? You need to die. Okay, let's maybe pick this up. Let's see, I really want to go over there, but that guy's in here. You know what, right, let's do this. Okay, he got in through there. Doesn't look like anybody else can get in. I feel like that was the only way, so I think we can deal with him. Hi, buddy. Oh, there's two guys in there. Good thing I checked. Come here, buddy. You too. Okay, good. Those guys are dealt with. Let's just break this. Make sure there's nobody else. Oh, it looks safe. 
Okay, let's carve these guys. Nothing. Nothing. <gasps> it's shoulder, you guys. Oh my goodness. Okay, this is so cool. Oh my goodness. Can we make this our home somehow? Can we do that? What is this? Oh, a chest. Oh, cool. Clothing. Oh my goodness. I have no space. Oh, I'm running out of space, but I need this stuff. I need it. What is that? That's a bowl. That's kind of cool. We're going to leave that there, though, because I just don't have space for it all. Oh my goodness, that scared the crap out of me. That was really loud. Nice. We hit some... We got tapestry journal thingy. Can these stack? Aged wood chair, aged wood table. That's okay. Uh, anything in here? Nothing in there. And this is the fireplace. Oh my goodness. Bookshelves. We could probably take those. I wonder if I can make a way up to the surface from here. Okay, let's get let's get uh, down here. Let's see. I'm gonna have to get rid of that. Um, is there anything dangerous down here? I just kind of came down here and I didn't mean to. Uh, anything dangerous? No. No, it looks safe. It looks safe. It's just um, a bunch of cobwebs. Okay, anything in here? Do have to break that. What's this? Junk metal. Okay, that's not. That's just a box. Oh, okay, bony soil, I'm in a cobweb. Nothing back here. Um, okay, let's pick up this. Can I pick that up? Yes, I can. Nice. And then, oh, there's a corner. Oh my goodness, there's lots of cobwebs here. I really don't know what the best way to get rid of cobwebs is. Oh, this just loops around. Okay. Very cool. I feel like I need to... Um, oh, I have no space. I feel like I need to pop a torch down here. Uh, let's see. Maybe if I put one like there? Because I think things would probably be able to spawn down here. Maybe put one there. And then let's grab the dirt we just chucked. Okay, there we go. This is super cool. Cannot place this block. Another block is in the way. I'm not trying to place something. I'm trying to make sure I don't have to open it. I wonder if there's anything more down here. Can we, like... Uh, I don't want to, like, dig into the ground, because, um... Yeah, that's probably not a great idea. Oh my goodness, this is such a find. Um, I feel like... Oh, we need more torches. Oh, you know what? There's a fire pit right here. I can make more torches. Oh, what are you doing? Are you trying to get in? You're not allowed in. This is mine. Stay out. Okay, let's, uh, let's, let's access this fire. I made... brought torches with me. Yes, yes, I can. Okay, let's pop these in here. And I brought some fire. Oh, wait, I didn't bring it. I found it. Oh, it's so amazing. Okay, let's put this here for a sec. And then we can go like this and we can light it. And let's make some torches quick. Nice. Do I don't have space for Oh, because I, that's right. Okay, I'm going to have to. Let's just drop that for a sec so I can, nope. Drop you so I can pick up this. No, there we go. Okay, yeah, it's perfect. I want things. I want all these things. I need to make it. I need. Okay, it's got to be pretty close to the surface. Like we didn't go very deep, and then we found this. So I figure there's got to be a way up. I wonder if I just like poke a hole up here, but I don't want something to drop on me. Uh, what's through here? Okay, this is a good sign. Maybe if we just go this way a little bit. Oh, I found my way out, I think. Oh, I see where we are. Okay, nice, 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 nice. I think we found a good way out. 
into the main tunnel anyways. I'm going to just have to maybe try and block us in somehow so that the monsters don't fall on us. I don't know if this is going to work. Hmm. Anyways, we're going to leave this here for now. This is my little tunnel. Going down to our little new house that we found that I want to keep. And I got to make more brackets so I can just keep it per perpetually torched up. And this guy, let's just actually pop a little hole there. This is mine. This is now mine. I have claimed it. This is not yours. Wow, there's so many of them. Uh, uh, let's pop a little hole through here. stuck on here. Oh, this. Let's put some stuff in here. I don't need to carry these things around. Those can all just stay in there. Look at all these guys. So I don't think they can get through this tall, right? Oh my goodness, look at them all. There's four of them. Okay, so this is, uh, they're, <laughs> they're getting out of hand. I feel like what I'm gonna do, actually, what time of day is it? Okay, it is nighttime. Why don't we quickly sleep? Well, actually, the, the game let me sleep. If, oh, yeah, they will. Okay, good. We're going to sleep. Oh, I'm probably going to get freezing. That's okay. I have firewood, and I can make torches, and I can eat my last meal. We'll do that, and then we will head up to the surface. Oh, I'm starving. Hi. Um, oh, I was actually sleeping by this. Am I okay? Yeah. My temperature, oh, my temperature's fine. Oh, good. That's like a first. Can I get rid of you? You, right there. You're bugging me. Okay, let's bring our mat with us. Let's prospect pick our way out of here a little bit, actually. Let's go like this. One. And then we need one, two, three. So we'll go here. And then we need one two, three, we can go here. Everything's very poor. That's really, that's really too bad. Okay, let's come up here. Oh, that's the night sky right there. Oh, I know where I am. Ah, oh, it's still, still late. Oh man, it's like five in the morning. That's annoying. There's going to be lots of scary things out there, but I know where I am. This is like our entrance in is right here. That's so cool. Okay, let's just maybe do this a little bit. And I'm just going to wait for that sunshine to come, I think. So just give me a second. Okay, it's getting light enough out there. I can probably safely get out. Without any wolves. Okay, let's hope nothing's going to attack us. Let's just go. And we're going to go home and we're going to empty our pockets. And I feel like I'll just... Um, I'll leave that stuff there for now because that's so cool. You guys could let me know, actually. Let me know if you want me just to collect it all and bring it home with me. Or if you want us to kind of have that as our little secret little hideout. I don't know. We probably wouldn't spend that much time there. It's really cool and everything. But uh, this is our home. so And that's really cool decorations like the bookshelf and everything. So just let, let me know what your thoughts are on that cool little... Um, oh, we made it. On that cool little uh, discovery of ours, let me know what your thoughts are for what we should do with um, with the items inside. And uh, yeah, in the meantime, I think we're just going to end it here for the prospecting pick. Unfortunately, it didn't give us anything. Maybe I will uh, figure out where else we can dig with it to find some cool stuff. Maybe we can even go deep down into that tunnel, but uh, that's a maybe that's scary. So yeah, maybe next time we can do that um, when I have more food and stuff. Well, how did your refined method of finding rare ores go? Well, I mean, it was good. We didn't find anything with it, but we found a really cool, like, hidden cavern-y house thing with a bunch of awesome stuff in it that uh, we discovered these cool brackets. We found some cobwebs, which is really kind of neat. Um, oh, this Amok tabletop, so neat. Uh, like, tons of interesting things. Just so many awesome, awesome discoveries. 
How about you? Any success with mindlessly blowing up the nether? Tons! And guess what? It was enough for this. Ooh, you can't deny. That does look good. Yes, it does. So there. Exploding beds might be unrefined, but you can't argue with results. I never said it wasn't effective. I just said it was less civilized. Oh, yeah. I guess you got me there. All right, you guys. Thanks so much for joining me today. I'm sorry we didn't really actually find anything with the prospecting pick. We'll try again in maybe the next episode. We'll go down a little deeper and try to figure things out. But I just couldn't help not... Um going with the discovery that we made today and just kind of changing our course of plans. So in the next episode, we'll do more with this and let me know what you guys want me to do with all that stuff that we discovered in the cool little hidden house. Yeah, hidden house. That's, that's a good name for it. Anyways, I will see you guys later. Bye!